Mary Magdalene grieves at the foot of the cross, while a pair of soldiers compete for her affections. The first words I wrote were choreographic suggestions which I took to Remy and discussed with him before even approaching the composer. I took my inspiration from a picture by Carl Strathman which is hanging in the Stuttgart Gallery. It's Mary Magdalene at the foot of the cross and it basically appears that the camera has nodded down and is focusing on Mary Magdalene naked at the foot of the cross uh, rather than the hanging body of Christ, which I thought was quite an interesting concept and uh, it's where I drew the chief inspiration for my libretto. I came to Ted Branson, the artistic director of the Hent National Ballet, with this idea, with this concept of facilitating both ballet and opera in an equal way with the story of Magdalene. And to his credit, he saw the vision and saw that it was something worth exploring. And he gave me complete freedom with that. Or if you need the extra pieces of momentum, just do one of the under the arm. So, 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 Alex, so with this one, yeah. allow her, like, give but, it space. Uh, Keep yeah, her arm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's good. Keep your body close to her. That's lovely, that's lovely. Yeah, like that, like that. Yeah, go, but she goes back under. You know, this one comes through, that's it. We've worked with Chloe Charity, the composer, before on a previous project. So when I went to her, I asked her for a muscular narrative score that would tell the story in both dance and voice in equal terms. She's provided us with quite a voluptuous yet gritty piece of music that I think has given everyone a lot of inspiration. I did actually write the score, I mean, we're talking about it's like eight, nine months ago now. So at the moment, my main focus is actually perfecting the performance side of things. Like the thematic material, to me, it's gone, it's there, it's already been written, so I'm not thinking so much about that at the moment. I really should be, but all I'm really concerned about at the moment is just the perfection of the musical performance. The whole section, I think you can, I think you can take more time. I, I will stretch it as far as I can, yeah, yeah. definitely. Okay, cool, because yeah. I think Because that... I want that as well. Of course, the opera ballet has its roots in the 17th and 18th century, uh, French Baroque style but uh, we wanted to do and pioneer a form uh, where both forms were equal, where the singing was not framing the dancing or vice versa. Uh, both disciplines were imperative, were equal. In my opinion, Nadia Janowski makes the perfect Magdalene. She has a strength and a sensitivity to her dancing and as an artist she can show great depth of emotion. While both men are soldiers, they both portray the character in very opposite ways. The dancer, Casey Hurd, he portrays the soldier as an aggressive man with manly needs and desires towards Magdalene. Whereas Alastair Shelton Smith, the singer, he portrays the soldier in a very romantic, poetic way, where he's a philosopher. He's, he's, the libretto which Malcolm's written discusses poetically his desires to be close and to feel the love of Magdalene. Good. Using two dancers and an opera singer was a challenge in the sense that I wanted everyone to look very equal on stage. Obviously using their different art forms, both dance and singing, to facilitate the story, but I didn't want it to be a singer singing on stage with dancers. I wanted the dancers and the singer to be dancing harmoniously in a part of toi. To ask an opera singer to partner a classical dancer is quite a challenge, and I think Remy dealt with it uh, in a very sophisticated and harmonious way. It was quite an accomplishment, actually, the uh, process of simply asking a, a, a singer to grip a dancer in an effective way is, is quite difficult for somebody who really hasn't been trained in that particular discipline. Taking Alistair's natural instincts as a singer wasn't always the natural instincts of a dancer, so we had to somehow workshop both so that we actually came up with choreography that both suited him but suited the dancers and made him one of the dancers and the dancers one of him. Would scratch to the bone from solid 
I think we can really, at the moment, it's still, I still feel like we're rushing it. And I still feel it's just, I think here, because we're starting to have this massive decline, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you can really think about elongating that phrase and really stretch it out. This is, I think this is a score that's quite, quite difficult for musicians. I mean, I, I never wrote it intending it to be an easy, easy performance. And I already knew before I'd even started composing it, the caliber of musicians I was writing this for. So you couldn't ask for better musicians. Sonia, um, Olga, Alistair are just absolutely top quality. Like really, really just such a pleasure to work with. In my usual, um, my usual panic before a premiere, just freaking out that it's not going to be 100% perfect. But I have to just trust that on the day it will just run as smoothly as it possibly can. And the fact that we're doing a um, run with the microphones, I think a few hours before the performance, which cannot be helped, is sprouting an extra few grey hairs. <laughs> but like I said before, we'll see how we go. It should be fine. Taking the ballet from the rehearsal room onto the enormous music theatre stage meant filling in this big space, taking the audience's attention and drawing it in to these three characters. This was our greatest challenge. What a challenge. you really like looming over, over the both of them. We were very privileged to work with artists of such a high level, a standard where they could not only do the steps and the technique and the choreography and sing, but they could look out for one another and make the piece their own and see where one another's faults were and strengths and facilitate both. It was quite an accomplishment on everyone's part and a credit to the dancers and Alistair for having the patience and the integrity to work with each other in such a harmonious uh, and ultimately peaceful <laughs> way throughout. I think they all came to a, a true understanding and appreciation of their respective disciplines.